everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. My favorite website, ScienceAlert.com, it being Freaky Friday, why not go for it? Let's put our tinfoil hats on for a second. And they're reporting scientists are getting creepily close to being able to read our minds. Ah, that's right, because privacy hasn't eroded enough. Now let's just let government and other people read our thoughts, too, because, you know, nothing's sacred anymore. Ah, it says here scientists are one step closer to becoming mind readers after new research identified some of the complex brain patterns that go into forming sentences in our heads. Brain patterns generated by certain sentences could be predicted with 87% accuracy in the study based on an alphabet of 42 different concepts covering size, location, colors, actions, and other elements that might make up complex thoughts. It says, we should note that researchers from Carnegie Mellon University can't tell exactly what you're thinking about. Oh, not yet. See, your secrets are safe right now. But their system is able to decode the types of thoughts you're having based on brain scanning. Because that's, well, the reason why is because different parts of your brain actually handle different types of thought. So clearly neurons might fire for thinking about an object like a light bulb. And other neurons might fire based on what you're doing and what the color is. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that they can tell based on what area of your brain is showing activity some of the things that you could be thinking about. And they can already do this with a relatively um, fair to good amount of accuracy. Um, lead researcher Marcel Just says, one of the big advantages of the human brain was the ability to combine individual concepts into complex thoughts to think not just as bananas, but I like to eat bananas in the evening with my friends. He said, we have developed a way to see thoughts of that complexity in the MRI, the fMRI signal. The discovery of the correspondence between thoughts and brain activation patterns tell us what the thoughts are built of. Now, the scientists uh, use a custom-built al algorithm, AI, to analyze scans taken from an fMRI machine to determine what kind of thoughts are triggered and which kinds of brain patterns correspond with those thoughts. And then the algorithm was then asked to predict thoughts for a new brain pattern. I mean, it's fascinating, but scary. It's similar to showing an artificial intelligence engine 100 pictures of a dog to learn from and then asking it to decide whether a new picture should, uh, whether a new picture shows a dog or not. Now, in this case, the algorithm has 239 sentences and seven volunteers to work with before being asked to decode a 240th thought with different runs of the program leaving out a different sentence each time. Now, one of the sentences was, quote, the witness shouted during the trial. And that involved both the subject of thought and a setting and something the subject was doing. So the scientists showed that the algorithm can predict how complex thoughts like this would be put together in the brain and vice versa, working out types of thought structures based on neural activity. So while it's in the infancy stage right now, you could theoretically deploy something like this and use it to, let's just use the war on terror for a good example, right? So... I'm fighting terrorism, right? And uh, to kill the terrorists, we need to be able to uh, assess whether people have uh, terroristic thoughts or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to deploy this artificial intelligence in the airports so that we can tell what types of thoughts people are having. We may not be able to read your thoughts. Don't worry. It's okay. We're not getting into your privacy. But we can tell the types of thoughts that you're having. And by God... If you're a danger to the people of the airport and to the American people, America is going to be safe and we're going to indefinitely detain you without due process after we read your mind. See, that's the way they could use it right now and I'm sure they could get any court to go along with it. So, 
this has the potential to be yet another piece in the pre-crime police state arsenal that we've seen really advance at light speed over the last 10 to 15 years, especially since 9-11. So interestingly enough, they're figuring it out slowly but surely, decoding the brain and figuring it out what it is you're thinking. Just a matter of time, folks. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the TheDailySheeple.com. Pretty soon, we're all going to be the Borg. Comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day.